Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Misha Serkunov. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears. <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay, sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now to get us started. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Bruce Buff. this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Misha Sarkunov! And now producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top. He's got the strong base, and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. He starts to advance position and get ground and pound off. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Real quick leg kick. 
Nice punch by the Canadian Sirkuno. Single collar tie here. Huge damage. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big body kick land. Caught that kick there. Oh, that kick is good by Sirkuna. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, big elbow. Good right here. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Huge knee lands for the tie punch. Punch over the top. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, rips the body shot there. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Big punch land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Under two minutes now to go round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Effective punch there by Sirkuna. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Circling towards the left now. That's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Nurmagomedov. Nice right hand. 20 seconds to go. Single collar tie now. Oh, big knee. knee there. That knee hurt him. Nurmagomedov's knee strike there is blocked, so no Round damage. Round two coming up next. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Okay? You knew he was going to be blood, all right? You need to protect this cut, though. You know he's going after it. 
All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. Not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, effective strike there by Nurmagomedov. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? A little single collar tie there. Jermago Medov's kick to the body is blocked. And he switches to Southpaw. Serkinov's got the tie clinch now. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with a nice roll. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. The Canadian Sirkunov goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. 78 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 46% accuracy tonight against Misha Sirkunov. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. Jab, jab, right hand. Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nurmago Meta. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Big kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. Leg kick checked effectively there by the Canadian Circle. And just misses with that big right hand. Liver kick. Visibly limping here. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And all oh, collar ties, and both guys really throwing with authority. Slice and elbow land. Oh, strong punch there by Sirkuno. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Switches to Southpaw. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by the Canadian Circuno. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice straight left there. Final seconds here. 
I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in these fights. All right, single collar time now. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the total. Oh, dude, sir, serve him up. Oh, yeah. oh, he might be out. unofficial DC, but 116 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And connecting at a 44% clip tonight, DC, against the Canadian Misha Serpin. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man. It kicks the head a lot of times. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, DC. Oh! He's given him so many different things right now. He's got him hurt here. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have to stop. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to start this contest at 2 minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.